my god, it's so good. Week horror today I am continuing our week-long extravaganza which I'm calling pellet week I haven't checked out yesterday's video yet I posted it sort of late at night so you might not have seen it I reviewed the NARS and abnormal female lip coffret set which is a mouthful but anyway it's amazing and I will go ahead and have a link to that in the description bar down below so today we're gonna to be doing a review of the Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca remix palette which I am super excited about um, for many 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 reasons this is actually one that I'm like oh my god I can't believe how good it is so my best friend gave this to me for my birthday so thank you Jamie this was like totally awesome and unexpected and amazing. The Kat Von D eyeshadow formula is one that I like but in the past I found it to be kind of powdery and I wasn't massively bowled over by it. I do have a couple of Kat Von D palettes because I do like them but it wasn't one where I was like oh my god Becky look at this eyeshadow it is so good. It wasn't that it was bad I just didn't, wasn't amazed by it. I wasn't like oh my god I need more of this in my life and have to buy every single palette and collect it which is how I feel about some other brands. I just never quite felt that way about the Kat Von D eyeshadows. These liquid lips sticks are another story. So I'm super thankful to Jamie for getting this for me for my birthday because I was contemplating this one this year and when she gave it to me I had no other choice but to check it out and I was like oh my god it's so good. So this is the Mi Vida Loca Remix palette. Now it's called their Mi Vida uh, words. It's called the Mi Vida Loca Remix because she had a previous palette a few years ago called Mi Vida Loca. This palette is everything that I've been saying for years eyeshadow palettes, you know, especially the holiday variety of this big, you know, assortment should be. It, there should be a mix of mattes and shimmers. This has it. There should be a mix of bright colors and mid-tones and there should be a mix of neutrals thrown in there so that the eyeshadow palette can just be everything that you need all in one. This has all of that. There are 24 eyeshadows in here. There's an incredible balance here between shimmers and mattes. You can absolutely create some really fantastic eyeshadow looks. And one thing I really love is that not only does this have like a full rainbow and neutrals but there's like two yellow colors and then there's like three greens and then there's like three blues and then there's like three purples and three pinks well that one's kind of red but you get the idea there's there's you know more than one orange there's a shimmer orange and a matte orange you know it, they're both in there it's amazing I had this like preconceived notion that maybe it wasn't gonna be all that amazing because I tried her line when it first came out and I felt that they were a little bit powdery and a little bit follow happy I find that this isn't the case anymore they're a freaking awesome I do think there's a tiny bit of fallout with them but if you tap off your brush there really isn't much of a problem in fact I was so confident in you know how these apply now that I actually applied my foundation today first and then the eyeshadow over it and this is a pretty bold color combination to be putting you know on top of foundation in case you know there's a fallout situation and there really wasn't that was like a very long sentence and I'm out of breath now this really has everything that I've been asking for in a holiday palette for so 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 long there's 24 eyeshadows which is a whole ton of eyeshadow the size of each eyeshadow is a little over a gram so there's plenty of eyeshadow in here there's this amazing mix of rainbows and of neutrals the layout of this palette is fantastic with the rainbow ring around the outside the neutral in the center it's meant to look like a record this is just every single thing to me. Another thing I really really love about Kat Von D's line is that she makes a lot of references to her both her Mexican heritage and her German heritage which is amazing for me because that is part of my own family's heritage as well so it's just so fantastic to have a makeup line that celebrates that and I just oh, I love it love it love it I, I really couldn't gush about this enough just okay. everything about this is kind of perfect to be honest with you it's it's one that you know if I were to measure this against other holiday palettes in terms of price you know the product itself the layout the concept every it like they just really can't be beat there's a reason why this already sold out once so if you're interested in getting it I would go ahead and scoop it up while it's still available it is $59 at the Sephora website it's only available at Sephora.com that's my little QVC moment I want to go ahead and do a couple little swatches for you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and put the palette down I will mention what color I am swatching let's do Lemmy by the way, there's like no primer or anything on my hand. This is Misfit, which is, oh gosh, so, so smooth for a grass green like that. I have a lot of grass green eyeshadows that are kind of patchy. This one's like super smooth. Uh, let's go ahead and do Fran, which is the gorgeous yellow shade, which I'm wearing on my eyelids today. Again, super pigmented. Do okay, Rewind is the gorgeous burgundy. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh, Harpsichord. Harpsichord was actually the first eyeshadow on the palette when I opened it up that I had to swatch because so I was like, damn. This pink one is called Swoon. Again, so creamy, so pigmented. Baby pink is called Love, and it's so 
pretty. It's just a lovely light pink. It's not a color that I would necessarily like gravitate towards, but once you have it in a palette and you can use it, you're like, oh dang, that's awesome. I've even layered it with other shadows to create a different effect. This one is a little bit on the patchy side. This one's called Anthem, but in practice it actually works much better. And you can see as you layer it, it, it completely smooths itself out. Echo, I'm pretty much swatching almost every color in the palette at this point, but Echo again is a little bit on the patchy side, but let's go ahead and do Synth. I mean, wow, damn, that's incredible. Hyper Ballad for the end of all the, f the fun color ones because I want to do some of the neutrals for you. Hyper Ballad, amazing, amazing teal. And let's do a couple of these neutral. Let's do Black Metal. Nice, smooth, dark matte. And by the way, my fingers are getting totally messed up because I'm just wiping them off on a dry towel. Strutter, beautiful neutral, like transitional tre crease color. Oh, oh my God, so beautiful. Let's do Vox. I'm running out of elbow here. <laughs> I'm like running out of arm here. Let's go ahead and do one more. Let's do Molder because I'm an X-Files fan from back in the day. And oh, looks like we have a little bit of fallout from one of the blues that mixed in, but it's a really great highlight color. It's a little bit on the more yellow end. I feel like I've come this far with swatching them, so I'm just going to switch sides and go ahead and swatch all the ones I didn't swatch. So we'll start back with the greens. This is vinyl which is sort of like an acid green. A little tiny bit on the patchy side, but it's really not that bad. Um, it's definitely one that you can layer on. And I find this type of like lime green is rarely ever super smooth. Um, this one is a light yellow called Legend, like a yellow gold. Oh my God, it's so pretty. So this is Analog, the, oh my God, seriously, can we talk about how pigmented that is? This is like no primer or anything. This is sort of like a red pink. This is Destroyer. This one is Muse, which P.S. is totally my favorite band, and I'm gonna go see them this December. I'm so excited. It's, it is actually pretty pigmented, but it's such a light color. It doesn't show up super intense next to some of these more intense babies. So this next color is Dark Wave, which is like, hello, amazing. So next we have Lyric from the, like, inner ring, the inner circle of neutralness. <laughs> Uh, then we already did Strutter, we did Vox, we did Molder. Let's go ahead and do Noble, which is another really great transitional color. You can see that compared to Strutter, it has a slightly more yellow tint and slightly less gray as well. The next color is Skulls. Oh no, I think I still had some squeeps left. I'll go ahead and do this Skull swatch over here so we're... Yeah, so Skulls is, this is like the sloppiest tutorial review ever, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I can't even say, I can't even say properly how sloppy it is without also saying that sloppy. You guys gotta understand, it's like 90 degrees today in Oakland and I have all these lights on and it is sweaty. <sighs> I digress. So Skulls is this absolutely gorgeous shimmery white. It's sort of off-white. It's not super like a silvery white. It's lovely, a little bit more flattering to wear and easier to pull off. This palette, you guys, it's so, so, so good. I mean, I really, I can't even begin to tell you how good it is other than everything I've just explained to you. I really can't say enough about this palette. It is fantastic. There's a reason why it's sold out now once before and it will probably sell out again very, very soon. This is available on the Sephora website. It also comes with this little chart with some eye looks, which normally, like the eyelids, I look, I really can't talk, seriously. Um, normally the eye looks that come with these types of things, I'm like, whatever, that's not even cute. But these ones are actually really good and I've done a couple of these already, which is in and of itself impressive because I normally don't do them. In fact, I think I might even do a tutorial perhaps next week once palette week is over and show you guys kind of how I bumped up one of those. Let me know if you're interested in seeing that, in seeing like one of these looks, but you know, my way of doing it because there's always, you know, tweaks you need to make or whatever. So it's time for me to go wash my arms off because this is a hot mess, but this was seriously so much fun to show you guys how great this palette is. I love it so intensely and I love my friend Jamie even more for giving it to me. When two friends can really bond over makeup, that's a true friendship. <laughs> I want to mention to you guys that I am now on Snapchat, so if you guys want to add me, it's Vintage or Tacky. I will go ahead and have, I think there's supposed to be like a code or something. I still don't really know what I'm doing with Snapchat, to be honest with you, but I'm figuring it out. But you can just add me on Snapchat. I am Vintage or Tacky as I am on pretty much every social media site, or you can always just follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. <sighs> running out of air. I need like some ice water. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be your own kind of beautiful. See you, bye.